Nicholas, what's wrong, Fiona? Um, I have um, fibromyalgia, which is like uh, diffuse pain all over my body. Um, if I try and do something, I have like a limited time that I can do it. If we have a day out or something, I start to cramp and seize and get pain all over. Um, it's gotten worse in the last five years, I would say. Um, I was actually only officially diagnosed with it last year. Um, but I feel like my, my health is stopping me um, living the life I want to live. Right. Cool. Close your eyes. Cool. Right. Okay. You'll notice there is nothing hard with what I do. You will never ever... <laughs> This is now the surgeon talking often with Jeanette. You'll never ever see the surgeon struggle. Sometimes you'll see Jeanette struggle. <laughs> but you'll ever see the surgeon struggle. Why? Because he doesn't hold that energy. He never tries to fix anybody. If he did, he'd fail. Think about when you last tried to hit a you know, a bat with a ball. Any golfers, you know when you try, it screws it all up. When you try and kick a ball even. When you try, it stuffs it up. Other times you just hit a fluke shot. You can't explain how you did it, but you know, it was a hole in one. Yeah? Without trying. Yeah? Ladies, when you tried to meet a man, and then you just met a man by chance, very often, you meet by chance. You think it's chance, it's not. It's when you stop trying. When you're desperate to meet one, you're not gonna meet one. <laughs> not hope. <laughs> not one that's any good anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you've got to not, the art of not trying, yeah, we could call it the art of not trying, alright. So, the surgeon that's with me at the moment is in a playful mood. He likes to be, play, this whole life is play. Imagine now, imagine that he could wave this magic wand <coughs> and just give you as much energy as you need to live this life. You will always have an unending source of energy, how would that be? Wonderful. And then play, not struggle. How would that be? Unlimited energy, and you're going to play. Right? You're not going to struggle anymore. You've just decided, I'm, I'm done with that. I don't want to do that one anymore. I don't need to do that one. It's like in relationships. My mum had betrayal, drama, heartache, and then she had a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking for a romance. She never got that one, but she, she had all the others first, and she decided, I don't want that anymore. I don't want the drama, I don't want the betrayal, I don't want the heartache anymore, so she got a comedy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and having had the comedy, yeah, she's over it now. She's like, no, I don't. She's, she's knocking on a little bit now. Didn't say that really, Mum. <laughs> but she, no, she's totally over that now. So now she's totally over it, she probably will meet somebody. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. that's what happened. Yeah. E Isn't it funny how the worse you feel, the more you want to do stuff? Mm. Yeah. And then as, as well as the condition, you've got the suffering because you can't do the things you want to do. Yeah. Especially on the days you want to do them. Right. Can you see how this could create a nice little drama within yourself? Mm. Yeah, so yes. if your body needs to rest you, rest. Yes. If your body is thirsty, you. Yes. If it's hungry, you. Yes. And if it's tired, you. It's not hard, is it? But we, we see from spiritual, we see you getting out of bed to an alarm clock and you're naked. You make yourself go to work doing something you don't enjoy to get this money. Yeah, the, the, the life can be a lot, lot simpler. Life can be a lot, lot So decide it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All right? One of the measures I use, he's allowing me to speak now, so Jeanette's now talking. You can't tell the difference sometimes between him or me, but I can. Um, one of the measures I use, it's a barometer I use in my life, I've used it for about three years, is if all my days looked like this one, would I be closer to my dreams or further away? Yeah, and I love doing this. I could do this every night of the week, or maybe five out of seven on a consistent mm -hmm. basis. Um, and I don't like doing my admin. I need somebody to... Be admin, yeah? 
There'll be things in your life that you really enjoy doing. Do more of them, yeah? Do more of them. So if we look back to your past, you overdid it, yeah? All right, the other thing is she's like a psychic sponge. She just soaks up <coughs> how everybody else feels and confuses their feelings with their own. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to almost like squeeze out the sponge, not exactly squeeze, but clear out the sponge, all the stuff that wasn't yours. It was never yours. Right. When you have heartache, is it yours? Do you own it? <laughs> no. So when you have heartache, you experience it, um, let it go. It's not like a possession. It's not like a possession people are going to be impressed to see you hanging on to. It's not like some trophy. Right? So, one of the things that I noticed, this is Jeanette speaking again, one of the things I noticed, people with fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, they're healers, wee! And they don't know they're healers yet, and so they've gone through life picking up everybody else's rubbish, energy, trying to be helpful, soaking it all in so that they feel better, making themselves feel worse. Mm -hmm. And so now we just recognise that all of that stuff it was never yours. How are you feeling? <laughs> Look at this. It's spaced out. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around. She's going to dance. Lighter. Lighter? Yeah. Pain wise, how are we doing for pain? I'm pretty stiff around my neck. But yeah. I'm good. But elsewhere, pretty good? Yeah. All right, let's fix the neck. Okay, so we're made of energy and we're living in like a. We're living in a world of energy, and some energies feel good, move towards those. Some energies feel not so good, move away from those. And one of the things that struck me, I was driving home one night, and I was, as I was driving home, I started to think about how, what my partner was going to be like, and this was going to be in a good mood, and, and I could feel all this area here clenching. And um, what can happen is that the ones that we most love are the ones that can most hurt us. Mm. Yeah, it's not enemies that do us the most harm unless we've got a really odd neighbour. <laughs> Usually it's, it's our nearest and dearest that can most hurt us. And we've got to get better at communicating, we've got to be get better at sensing what is my energy, what's my stuff, what's the energy of this place where I'm living. Um, if you're not living in the right place energetically, move. If you're working in a hostile environment, change jobs. Yeah, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, change jobs. It's your life. You're only here for so many years. Yeah. Yeah. It's your life. It's your life. As a species, uh, humans like this condition called homeostasis. We keep things as they are. If the bank stuffs up, we don't change banks. If the bank stuffs up, we don't change banks. If the bank stuffs up, we don't change banks. I know Lex used to work for a bank. We could do just about anything to you. You won't switch. Yeah. It's, home, it's called homeostasis. Most people, they'll stay in a relationship that's not working because it's the thought of having to move. And so we tend to stick with things rather than move on. But once you start becoming very aware and very, very present, your energy rate's going to go up. And I talked earlier about how would it be to have unlimited energy. That is what the purple powder has done for me. The purple powder will not let you heal like this. I've had one lady return the jar. It didn't work. She couldn't heal like me. Now, I've been doing this for 24 years. <laughs> I take the rice. It gives me the energy to do lots of healing. So I can work every night if I wish. But it doesn't facilitate me working like this. Yes, it raises my awareness but it doesn't make you a, an amazing healer but it will give you energy it'll help you sleep better those two things alone are going to really help your health it will help you handle stress better yep yep imagine being able to handle stress better so it's all like water off a duck's back mm -hmm. yep and it helps you think more clearly and how does it do it? Let me explain what the purple powder does. There's so many levels I could explain it to you. Number one, 
It's grown in the Sime Valley in Thailand. So it's grown in a part of the world where there isn't even roads for road pollution, so it's pristine. It used to be eaten only by emperors and their armies because it gives you mental clarity and physical strength. So uh, if you stole one grain of rice back in ancient China, you would be killed. We've micronized it. We micronized it first to beta particle, 40% absorption. And we've now micronized it to alpha particle, which is 99% absorption. What this means is one teaspoon, you're getting the goodness out of the rice as if you'd eaten a pound of rice. Now, if you were to eat a pound of purple rice, naturally organic purple rice, with, rich with anthocyanins and antioxidants, which are really good at fighting free radicals in the body, that would be a lot of bulk passing through the gut. If you ate a pound of purple rice, a lot of a lot would actually go through the gut and it would pass out. You wouldn't get the goodness out. We've micronized it so that every spoonful is getting the full polypeptides and polysaccharides out of a pound of purple rice. And that's why it's so extraordinary. Now, the other reason it's extraordinary is back in the 1950s, your food was played with. Remember grandma telling you not to play with your food? <laughs> All right, but our scientists have been playing with our food and they've hybridized it. Uh, example would be uh, seedless grapes from they used to have seeds. In the 1950s supermarkets came along and there were ra shelves of fruit rotting and the supermarkets were losing big money so they started hybridizing the fruit. They took the plant sterols out of the plants. Plant sterols do three things. They make the fruit ripen. Only when a fruit ripens on the tree do you get the eight essential sugars that we need they're called essential sugars because they are essential for human health. But if you take the plant sterols out, the plant doesn't ripen on the tree. Yeah? It sits in the supermarket maybe a month. It might sit in your fruit bowl another month. It doesn't rot. If you take the plant sterols out, fruit doesn't rot. It's scary, isn't it? Don't you remember fruit used to rot? Tomatoes used to rot. They don't anymore. And it's because they've messed around with the plant sterols. The third thing your plant sterols do is it plants, it protects your plant, the plant from disease. And because the plant sterols have been messed with, now we're using more chemical sprays to protect the plant from pests and disease, whereas it would have been naturally in the plant. Yeah, go round up and Monsanto. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Monsanto have changed their name now, haven't they? They are now Bayer. They've got so much bad publicity as Monsanto, they have changed their name to Bayer, is my understanding, or they've merged with Bayer, something. How's your neck feeling? Good, really hot, coming up here. Really yeah, handy. wear me handies. Yeah. What is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I consider the, the rice, it's called PXP, polysaccharides multiplied by the power of peptides, sugars and proteins. Why? Why is it sugars and proteins? Why are we taking that out of the rice? What makes your body function well is on the surface of your cell. Uh, if your cells can talk to other cells, your body can heal itself. If they can't, it can't. In a person with cancer, the surface of the cells is smooth and there's no antennae on the surface of the cells. Yeah, And this stuff, this, the <coughs> antennae that are supposed to be on the surface of the cells, they're made out of sugars. Those eight essential sugars that were in the fruit that's why we've got so much disease. It's one of the reasons we've got so much disease. Yeah, and this product has got the eight essential sugars in. And that's why it's so amazing. I take two teaspoons a day. Uh, it's made my hair better condition, less greys. Eyebrows have regrown, eyelashes have regrown. I lost about eight kilos over a 10 month period without trying. It stabilizes your blood sugar so you don't snack between meals. And I will never stop taking that product. And that's why I've come to the UK is to let everybody know that this product exists. Because there ain't enough of me to go around to heal everybody, but there is with the purple powder. With the purple powder, we've all got the power to make ourselves well. And it actually works out cheaper than seeing one. <laughs> Kid you not. We're nearly there with your neck. And then we're going to do a group healing for everybody just to finish off the night. We're going to do a, lip, a sound healing. All right, just give that a try. So much better. Yeah, yeah. a lot better, right? Eh?
Yeah, just check any aches or pains anywhere. I feel really good. Yeah, <laughs> isn't that cool? Thank you.